Hi, this is Shadi. So this is the month of June. So I remember four years ago, this is when I started in 2019. So four years of making this. And June always reminds me of Kosen Judo because it's one of the first subjects I've discussed. So at the time, the conversation was much different and there was just a different landscape when it comes to ground grappling and uh, I'm very glad it changed but that's that doesn't mean that we shouldn't go back and discuss uh, a few things so today I'm going to be discussing Kosen Judo because it is something mysterious at the same time very appealing to a lot of people including myself and we're going to see why exactly um, it's not where it should be at least so uh, at the time, I was talking about it in the context of you have people who are uh, competing, going to the ground, pulling guard is allowed, and you have the whole system of the guard and the top game and the passing and winning by the tap, uh, etc. So a lot of the comments were, um, you know, yeah, but the Brazilians evolved it, or uh, oh, if uh, if this is the case, then why aren't they in ADCC, which is a complete red herring and a completely nonsensical argument. Also, uh, stuff like, you know, that Brazilian beat that Japanese, as if that makes my argument, uh, you know, doesn't have anything to stand on. The argument was that this system, which was clearly documented in the 1910s and 1920s, and the stuff that we call today Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu was clearly being done as a very organized format of competition and training and also the sophistication of technique at the time was absolutely insane. So that was what I was getting at because at the time it was needed to be spoken about. But today it's not the case anymore. But I will address Kosen Judo as its own thing today and the problem with it. So from watching it and... Now, having some access to Japanese um, content, we can see uh, what is exactly the problem with uh, Kosen Judo. So, the first one I would say is, and that's uh, what's ev what everyone knows, is the fact that it is limited to the seven universities. So, being limited to the seven universities in Japan, uh, which makes it only in one country, uh, which makes it not very accessible, unfortunately, even uh, for uh, foreigners. When I was training there, uh, a lot of the times they would tell me, we cannot have you in our dojo right now, we are competing, or someone has COVID, so uh, it was a lot of excuses. So I was lucky to get in even once and train with them, which was a great experience. But being limited to uh, a lot of competitive edge between the seven universities, definitely play the role of it being this limited and secluded depending on how you see it some people would see this as a good thing so the second one is and in my opinion um, this is like a double-edged sword for um, Japanese martial arts and that is the team spirit because as you see Kosen Judo is competed in a team format only so what happens is it's great to develop the team spirit and thinking of others, which translates well into society. If you go there and something happens to you, you would see that the Japanese people, they are very helpful and they will do their best. Like, I'll give you an example. I lost my phone in the train. I got out. It wasn't on me. And with just a few uh, calls to the uh, train line the next day they tell me which station to go get it from and that's where I got it and That translates to the Japanese team spirit otherwhere in the world anywhere else in the world. Just forget about it. Go buy a new phone. So um, This team spirit thing which what happens is you have a draws so for example if I'm getting dominated absolutely by someone I'm just gonna hold on to the let's say half guard or whatever it is and just hold on to your life until time runs out and then you get a draw because when time runs out because there's a team format so other one comes in so uh, you, you can draw and that's it and in my opinion that's a problem because it really stagnates the grappling game I've done um, 
uh, I believe a year ago, uh, Kosen Judo highlights, I'll link it at the end of the video. And I had to go through hours and hours and hours of footage just so I can get some little bit of action to show it to you. A lot of it was just hanging on to a position, like holding on to your life and waiting for the clock to run out. And that's it. So the only one, like there is a, a solution obviously to this is to add golden score. You are not allowed to leave unless this fight is decided between the two. Otherwise you would stagnate. And two, you can add simply penalties. And not only in the ground aspect where people would just hang on to a position, but also uh, in the stand-up, you have grips. That makes absolutely no sense. You can bend over fully, cross grip, and with the other hand, you can grab their pants on the leg, on the knee level, and push them, which is a ridiculous um, grip. And at the same time, it is really uh, holding off the match. And that's where I so I commend the IGF because they made these rules around the gripping. Now, granted, some of them use it to their advantage in a very bad way, but it did keep the game rolling, evolving, exciting, and very combative. Like I said, a lot of people are going to take advantage of the rules in a bad way, and it happens a lot. A lot of people try to win by penalties, but the rules around the gripping by the IGF are not perfect by any means. But they did evolve the game in a way that keeps it going and rolling. And this is what, something that Kosen Judo actually needs. So when it comes to the whole team thing, yes, I appreciate the team spirit. But give a golden score, remove the draw fights, and you know, punish passivity with the gripping and also on the ground. And I would think that would solve it uh, immediately. And I, I don't know if there's... There's another thing that happens in the uh, Kosen world is the only being in university, like I said. So being in university, you have to do it for a very limited time and that's it. So you don't have this uh, period where these students are evolving or the grapplers are evolving. You don't see them you know, at, at the age of 25, 26, 27. You just have college guys who go in um, doing just regular judo before Kodokan judo, or actually it's all Kodokan, but now going into university, changing the rule set, doing this for just a few years, and then only stopping it. And that's also a problem. So um, I think there should be a more uh, global type of competition for this. I know you're going to say, yes, it's Brazilian jiu-jitsu, but for this type of judo and also really make it more, uh, I don't want to use spectator friendly because it means I'm thinking about the spectator and not the grapplers, but keep it more rolling, more aggressive, more. Because if, you, if you've if you seen Kosen Judo fights, you, a lot of them are just really stagnant and sometimes it's because of lack of rules. So something like rules around the gripping and also around the passive uh, positions on the ground can really help the sport and also just the fact that uh, I understand you don't want to give the other team uh, a point and you want to you know help your team as much as possible so you hang on to that position and you just end up uh, having no fight actually and it can be solved with a golden score so if you have anything to add please let me know down below and thank you for listening